Okay, just go ahead and start from the beginning. Yeah, I, have, I have. So you were telling me about Lewis Cooper from Westmoreland, Pennsylvania. And so uh, Lewis came from is is said to have come from Westmoreland, Pennsylvania. And so I've been along with some of the other uh, uh, Barbara over in. I think you met her when we were up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have another cousin, Brenda Troost, that lives in uh, Michigan. And we've been all trying to figure out where Lewis came from. And I've looked at every single Cooper family that's in the records from the early 1800s in western Pennsylvania. And, and I got a hit about a year and a half ago on a Cooper family in Ohio. Uh, and it was a Suggs, or the the uh, what's the organization that we're the uh, Revolution War descendants uh, daughters of the American Revolution yeah but there's a there's a son's version too and uh, anyhow I got a hit on these records from somebody who back in like 1900 was filing for membership and and then I found several others from the same branch that had filed for membership and they traced their ancestors, and they were all Coopers, and they traced their ancestors back through western Pennsylvania and eastern Ohio. And then when I looked in eastern Ohio, I found this Cooper family that suddenly fit the profile that fit our, our family history. And what happened was in 1840, they were in the census in, uh, it's the town where they made all the flatboats for the Ohio River people who were going down the river. And, and so there's this Cooper named Philip Cooper who lived there and he came there to uh, claim his father's, David Cooper's, Revolutionary War land grant. And that's where they first platted that section of Ohio. It's the south, southeastern corner of Ohio, right on the Ohio River. And there's a big chunk of Ohio that was given to Revolutionary War soldiers. And here's Philip Cooper, who went out there to claim this, and it turns out that Philip Cooper was a master carpenter. And when he got to this little town, it was just getting developed. The guy who was starting the town and had a lumber mill and had some other things there in town, found out he was a carpenter and said, if you would set up as a carpenter, I'll give you some lots in my town. And so he did. He took lots in the town and and he built barns and houses all over uh, southeastern Ohio. And in 1840, there was a sort of a, their version of the financial crisis. And uh, he went back to, uh, they were German uh, ancestors, and they were, they considered themselves Pennsylvania Dutch. Uh, and they went back to uh, an area near Pittsburgh, which was a part of what was originally Westmoreland County. And there's a, a town there in Pittsburgh that you may remember from history called Harmony. And it was the, the German descendants who decided that they were gonna have these communal towns and they had a couple of them, Harmony was one of them. And the community extended to Nobody was actually married to any one person. You were all just <laughs> in harmony, right? And so whoever, whoever looked good to sleep with tonight Free was love, at home. Baby. <laughs> this was in, and I think they proved it in like 1820, 1825 was when they built the town originally. Anyhow, he, they moved back. And in the 1840 census, he's there with, I don't remember, it was like four or five sons and three daughters, something like that. And uh, uh, then in, in the original, in the next records uh, uh, there in Pennsylvania, he's missing a son. And it was like a year later. And that was the year that Lewis ended up in Taswell. And Lewis was the right age to be in that census. So I'm, my theory is that Lewis is a member of that family. And so that's Philip, his father David came from Monmouth, uh, New Jersey, and uh, uh, the, his ancestors go back to a Philip Cooper that came at the age of four, I think, in 1702 with his family, 
to Monmouth, New Jersey. From? From Germany. And so they were Palatine Germans who left um, after the Palatine Wars. And the Palatine Wars were like 1692. And it was the Catholics fighting the Protestants. And the Catholics, after they won the war, over the next 15 years, if you were Protestant in Germany, you weren't welcome. And so the, the English were, this is where all the Pennsylvania Dutch came from. The English were encouraging Germans to come to the English colonies to help populate them, and they couldn't convince their own English citizens to leave. Uh, and so the, the Queen of England decided, if she was Protestant, she decided she was going to give relief to these German Protestants that were her relatives anyhow. And, and they all came to to settle yeah, in the Americas and the English colonies. And, and so after yeah. uh, oh, the Revolutionary War, David uh, took a loan from the bank on his farm and it was foreclosed on. He's in the, he's in the Chancery Court records in New Jersey. And uh, that was when his son, at the time Peter, so took it. left for that town in Ohio. So, yes, I'm looking for any of their descendants that is a Cooper that, that has that Y chromosome to confirm confirm my theory as to that being our family. But that's that's my working premise on who the Cooper ancestors are. And then we have. Uh, Gooch ancestors that have really interesting early American histories. They go far back into the 1700s. The Asburys go back to the very beginning. You know, they were some of the first ones that came in. Cool. Have you had any other hypotheses that you've worked through? Or is this the first one that you've run across? Well, it's the first one that I found, the Cooper, that fit all of the, the other criteria or the other profile information. You feel so close. Yeah, this this one, all of the things that that are part of the family folklore fit this family, and they haven't fit any of the others that I've found so far. Gary was even uh, so fun. Yeah. That's so fun. Yeah. yeah. So that I would really like to find. I haven't been successful, but I've posted on every genealogy site that I can. And, you know, I'm looking for another. I didn't pay for them to take the okay. test. Okay, okay, thank you. If there was another descendant that knows uh -huh. they're a descendant of this Cooper family, uh -huh. uh, uh, then I would pay for them to take the test and confirm and whether or not we really are. Solve right. your puzzle. Right. Well, they, you know, I have no way of of validating my theory other than uh, well, the other thing I might be able to do is. If I were to physically go back to uh, it's, it's Columbia, Ohio, it's, uh, huh? this this town in Ohio may have some records Same. that would confirm. She says she has herself. Yeah. That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> anyway. So, 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 so,